Morning guys, Monday the 14th of September. I don't know whether you can pick that up, that one on here, but it's really sort of beautiful, really like chilly and there's some um, a lot of mist around but with the stillness and the blue sky just yeah has a <laughs> a lovely feel about it I think you can see that there as well <sighs> oh. I'm well. I spent quite a, a number of hours yesterday sort of sorting through um, some of the boxes with some of my papers, um, getting rid of, especially if I've got multiple handouts on stuff, it's taking up space then I have um, sort of got rid of those, or well, not quite yet, I've put them in a box to get rid of. Um, and it is quite, I suppose, cathartic on the one hand that, you know, you're getting rid of stuff that, well, that, you, you know, you need to sort of sort, I suppose, and you don't really need to keep all of it. But at the same time, I think it sort of leaves, yeah, it leaves me feeling a little bit. It's a very old, sort of, well, I'll call it an old word. Um, but melancholy is what, is the word that comes to mind. It sort of puts you in a very reflective sort of mode. Um, yeah. I think, um, I don't know why, it's... I've got this so much there. I mean, I've come across um, my reflections and notes from my first um, coaching um, experience that I had from my own coach um, around 2000. It's about 20 years ago. Um, I've come across a number of times journals reflections, um, my thoughts on various things including what I'm trying to work out, what I'm focusing on, what I want. Um, I suppose it feels like there's, as I'm looking through some of that stuff as well, maybe it's quite a passage of time because it is, you know, a lot of stuff that I'm looking for it and I've got, it does span, literally, sort of, you know, at least a lot of it, 20 plus years. Um, and and also, I think with some of the stuff I've, I've got with my, you know, the various 
um, courses I've delivered, the various coaching packages I've put together, things that um been a number of projects actually as I was looking through that um, put a lot of time, effort and energy into that, you know, on the face of it, at the end of that time, may have not quite um, brought or created what maybe I'd sort of hoped um, in terms of the work with others. Um, but then, you know, I, I do, I'm very sort of process driven. So I do also believe that, you know, I don't, well, I, I don't believe anything's for nothing. Um, I think it's all, you know, it's all learning. It's all part of the the process um, of what it's enabling you to to understand or to reflect on or dig deeper in yourself. But yeah, so I suppose that struck me at one point. It's just so much, um, so much work I've done, and which I know on one level, but I think when you you start to see some of the evidence for that, if you like, and yeah, it's just interesting. Because I don't, I've always said as well. I mean, I'm smiling to myself. I mean, that word "interesting." What does that mean? <laughs> I often say to people, "Hmm, what does that actually mean?" It covers a multitude of sins, and I, I think sometimes when I say mm, "interesting," it maybe is because I'm not quite sure what else I might be feeling or whatever words are for it so there are times where it's actually easier in some respects to go interesting um, and then sort of yeah I mean gosh and the photos I mean I love I absolutely love photos I've got lots of photo albums and I've also still got other photos that um, at one point, I was actually putting them into albums um, and trying to actually organise them ac- according to, I don't know, sort of age or themes or, you know, certain periods in your life. Um, but I do still now have quite a few um, others, which I think at some point I'd still quite like to, to do that. So I do think that's sort of... I don't know, for me it helps, not only because they're not in bags and packets everywhere, but I think it's really helpful to see um, certain chapters, shall I call sections of, of my life um, kept in, in a certain order, in a certain way. So you can look at one and go, oh, OK, that's that particular age or era. And then that's another one. So it's sort of... Um, contains them a little bit as well I suppose gives them a boundary and a structure as opposed to them sort of just you know, being a, a blur of mixed photos and my daughter was saying recently as well that she'd she'd like to have a few more photos of when she was younger so now that I'm sort of sorting through stuff and um, no, no, I, I knew the photos were in one of the boxes, um, but it's easy to sort of access and get to now, so that'll be a good thing as well. I can hopefully look through some of the photos and share some of those with her. And I also remember sort of thinking to myself, I mean, it don't mean it's in a morbid way, I just mean in a very, I don't know, practical way, really. When you're looking through stuff, I'm thinking, well, it's not happened to me now, or, well, I mean, I don't even wish, yeah, it's sort of like a fire or anything, but forget that for a minute. Let's say, you know, something happened to me now and all that stuff was um, just sort of sitting there. I mean, you know, what would I actually, I suppose, what would I want? Um... Kaylee to have really and actually the photos are important because they are memories um, so that's quite key 
um, also, I mean, it may not mean, I'm not sure, well, I don't know whether it will mean, obviously, as much to Kaylee, but I've actually had the Bible I mentioned the other day for, you know, what, 40, I think it's 42 years or something, so it'd be nice for her to have that. I mean, it's, it's one of the oldest things I own, and it does, you know, it does mean a lot to me, actually, on some level, because even if I haven't read it all of the time, um, you know, religiously, as an adult, I certainly um, read it and studied it a lot when I was younger. And, and actually, I also did... Um, I've used it on and off at different times um, in my life. So it has been a constant, if you like, and a support on some level. So, I would, yeah, I would like Kelly to have that as well. Well, I think, funnily enough, I mean, I certainly am not in a position to um, really certainly um, pass a lot on in the way of, you know, money or property in that sense. Um, but actually, I think the, th the things you pass on, the, I mean, the legacy as well of, you know, the impact you have on who you are, but also I think anything you do, physically want somebody to have. I mean, they generally are the things that on paper are probably not worth an awful lot, but they tend to have emotional um, content and sort of memories linked to them and so on. So, yeah. It going well. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> so, yeah, I suppose those are. Keep going. Well, leave, leave. Well, well. Well. Come on, you. Well, <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyway, guys, so uh, end of different chapters, beginning of others, um, letting go of some things, not letting go of others. Sort of mix of, yeah, sort of. I think it's like acknowledging as well the, in the letting go of, even. Though that can also be quite therapeutic. I think there is also a, um, can be tinges of, you know, sort of sadness and sort of losses because there are, as much as there are many happy moments and happy memories, you know, within many, many years, there's also, um, you know, a number of losses as well. 
so and sometimes I think you don't always you're not always processing everything at the time so I think you can um, perhaps park things up for a period of time and then maybe this you know piece about revisiting stuff and then letting go of stuff it can it's more yeah you're able to do that more then so have the rest of a lovely moochy mind for monday um, and i shall speak to you later guys take care bye